How's it going, everybody? Dieter Curtin back here at Oracle Arena. Warriors lose to the Celtics 128 to 95. Not a typo. Big time blowout. One of the worst performances for the Warriors this season. Three things off of this game that the Warriors want to forget ASAP. Number one, the wicked combination. Lazy and bad. You're not going to win in the NBA playing like that. Warriors go down 11 to nothing to start the game. This is starting to become a trend for this team. 12 out of the last 14 games, they have uh, gotten deficits of 10 points or more, and a lot of those have come at the beginning of the game. We might have to start calling that the boogie effect because DeMarcus Cousins' defense, again, a glaring weakness for this team. The Boston Celtics were relentless, running every single action, it seemed, right at him. And frankly, the Warriors couldn't do anything. When you pair boogies, poor pick and roll defense with a just a general apathetic effort from the rest of the Warriors it created a blowout and, and I don't know if just getting the Warriors into a mode where they feel better about it they're playing stronger and they play with more force or they play with more joy or whatever emotion that they have some emotion I don't know if that alone is going to fix what ails the Warriors right now this DeMarcus Cousins defense thing it is not getting better the Warriors have fewer than 20 games to play about six seven weeks left in the season that is plenty of time to get things right but we're not trending in that direction right now. We need to start seeing some trend towards that in the coming days. Otherwise, the Warriors are going to have to start figuring other things out because this is not tenable for the playoffs as we speak. Um, thing number two, depth. So Klay Thompson didn't play in this game, and then Andre Iguodala was ruled out with the next strain, which meant that Jacob Evans, the oft-forgotten rookie who has been playing in Santa Cruz, he got some run in this game. We saw Damian Lee, a guy who is on a two-way contract and is supposed to be playing with the Santa Cruz Warriors, he saw run in this game. Uh, Alfonso McKinney started, was pretty promptly pulled. Uh, he has not been very good as of late, if we're just being totally honest. The Warriors' depth, particularly at two guard, is in a bad spot right now. And seeing as we are after the buyout deadline, there's no reason to think it's going to get any better. There's no one on the Warriors. There's nobody on the streets that can be brought in and fix this. The Warriors have to figure this out in-house. But if you ever considered Clay Thompson was not a max-level player, he's a free agent at the end of the year, if you ever thought he's not going to get a max contract, put on this game and then tell me that Clay Thompson doesn't deserve as much money as the Golden State Warriors can give him. The Warriors missed him desperately on Tuesday night. We'll see when he comes back uh, how much things change because it, it, there was absolutely a domino effect with Clay not playing in this game and the Warriors losing the way that they did. The final thing, there's nine games left at Oracle Arena. And the Warriors have now lost five games this season by more than 20 points here at Oracle Arena. I understand that this team does not care very much about the regular season. We can see that in their play. They don't even try to hide the fact in their quotes. But Nine games, this this 47-year-old stadium deserves better than what the Warriors gave. A lot of players called it embarrassing. Head coach Steve Kerr called it embarrassing. It was absolutely embarrassing. This place was damn near empty with a few minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Obviously, the playoffs are going to come, but it would be nice to see the Warriors exit this arena with a little bit more effort. I think they probably used up their last chip of not caring tonight against the Boston Celtics, but I've been wrong about that before. We will talk after Friday night's game against the Denver Nuggets. Another good opponent coming to Oracle Arena. We'll see what happens then because it seems like every time a good opponent comes to Oracle Arena, bad things happen for the Golden State Warriors. We'll talk after that one.